well-qualified current FCA lessees can lease Ram 1500 for $299 a month. Hi, this is Bill from American Vision Windows. A wise old contractor once told me it's better to do windows and doors before paint and floors. You know, we had had bad experiences, yes, as far as getting windows, but really just we love people. Kathleen and I had this expression, the power of a changed life. And we love to see people's lives transform and change for the better. And that's why we've literally given half of the company back to the employees. Those installers that come to your house, they want to live up to that, and they want to delight the customer, and it's a white glove change. Treatment. 23 years later, I am very energized about what we sell and the energy that that creates because this is a woman's nest. It's her home. For a limited time, get $100 off every window plus $300 off every door and free expert installation. Also, zero down and zero interest until 2025. Call or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com today. Catch the vision, American Vision Windows. Save over 100 grand at the largest RV dealership on the West Coast, DDRV.com. Radio personality Big Boy will be live in studio to talk about his star-studded Las Vegas comedy show. Help me. See something, say something. Good Samaritans step in to save a teenage girl who was kidnapped in Texas and brought to Long Beach. Why they say they just had to act. I know I'd go from rags to riches. Sad news. One of the most beloved voices in music, Tony Bennett, has died at 96. How the classic crooner is being remembered here in Hollywood. The KTLA 5 News at 5 starts right now. Good evening, you're watching the News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And hi, I'm Courtney Frail in tonight for Pedro. Thank you so much for joining us. Our top story at 5 o'clock, the Temecula Valley School Board is holding an emergency meeting in just two hours, and it will discuss you of the meeting. Chip? Yeah, good evening, guys. That meeting will start here in just a little while. Now, the debate we're talking about, a lot of it we've been hearing about has to do with social issues. People debating at what age is it appropriate to teach certain subjects to children. But another big part of this debate is over control. That is local control versus state control over the curriculum. And that battle has pitted a school board president versus the governor. He said I would get a warning. After a contentious meeting earlier this week where the Temecula Valley Unified School District School Board voted not to adopt a curriculum approved by the state, Governor Gavin Newsom doubled down on statements he made a week earlier. I want to talk to the parents in Temecula School District. In a Twitter video last week, the governor called out the board for failing to adopt a state-approved social studies curriculum for elementary school students and said if the district didn't buy the approved books for the students, he would. So I want you to know that we're moving forward, the state is moving forward and purchasing and procuring those social studies books. Your kids have the freedom to learn and you have the freedom to access those books, the same books that hundreds of thousands of other kids throughout the state are accessing. So rest assured, we'll be sending those books down in very short order. After the board again refused to adopt the new curriculum this week, the governor's office said in a statement that the school district was in violation of state law and the plan to buy books was moving forward. But at that Tuesday meeting, the president of the board quoted from some of the curriculum approved by the state to make a point that he believes the governor is overstepping his bounds. In the modules titled Governing California, voters elect a school board to run our school district. Notice how it doesn't say the voters elect a governor to run a school board? So I'll remind you, Governor Newsom, of this very important distinction, Governor. I've already instructed the superintendent, if books come from shipping and receiving, to say no. We'll ship them right back. Now, could tonight's meeting settle that debate? Here's what we understand from a district official we spoke to about tonight's agenda. On tonight's agenda, there are just two items, both of them involving curriculum that the board would have to approve. It appears from the way they're written and talking to this district official, they're trying to abide by state law. It's a modified version, basically, of what it sounds like, a modified version of the state curriculum, the state-approved curriculum. 
where they're trying to abide by state law, but at the same time, maybe leave certain parts of the curriculum out that certain people object to. So we'll see how that goes. The meeting is set to start at 7.30 tonight. The last meeting went past midnight, but again, there's only two items on this agenda, so I don't know how long tonight's will go, but we certainly expect a lot of debate over how things move forward. For now, reporting live here in Temecula, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. Chip, thank you. A statewide reaction pouring in today after the Chino Valley Unified School District Board overwhelmingly approved a controversial policy. The policy would require school employees, including teachers and